um, that he has now, right? He didn't really have that pedigree from from an international standpoint that he currently carries. But I feel like his performances in hit stuns past, in tournaments past in general, the fact that he's been able to square off against some of the best in the world and come out ahead has really proven to have a strong case for him. But let's not talk about Zero right now. It's the first match of the day. It's going to be Cobra, the tried and true Samus main for God knows how long, uh, squaring off against CTG. This matchup is favored for uh, Samus, some would say. Uh, actually, CTG would say that it's favored in Samus's, uh, in Samus's favor, whereas Cobra would say the opposite, that it's favored for Jigglypuff. Yeah, and I, I can see, honestly, both sides of the coin. On one se one hand, when I, when I think about Jigglypuff, a character that really excels at having these really clean combos to end with that big rest finish. But Samus provides a very awkward combo weight that makes it really difficult sometimes to string together some of those death traps, if you will. So instead, what Dylan's going to be doing is he's actually going to be using Nair and Back Air a lot more in this matchup than he typically would in other matchups to make it so he can maybe play the positioning game rather than that big burst finish that he's used to going for right so horizontal horizontal moves instead of vertical yeah because you know, i feel like you know big sideways that's kind of the bane of samus in a lot of cases uh to be frank except get that back. back air oh yeah that back air it's uh man that's like getting hit by a salami stick i'll be honest it's uh <laughs> if there was ever ever the phrase molly to be applied liberally towards a move in smash i feel like it's just the back air from samus great down smash that coverage cutting through the attempt from the screw attack recovery that's going to be another stock in favor of CTG. So he definitely has the advantage from a stock standpoint, but Cobra's been so phenomenal at answering back. Great F smash coming out there. That was a really big play to go ahead and find the equalizer. Yeah, I was I was thinking of a mechanical salami stick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what would the mechanical salami stick be? Would that be actually so, the the grab? Is that <laughs> I was thinking the uh, the back the back air the leg. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the the back air from. Yeah. Uh, now you're just now now we're just thinking about the anatomy of the salami stick. All right, well, getting the chain out there, gonna go ahead and get that grab. You know, not something that you expect often, but I feel like with the rhythm of, of a game like Smash, it's a really good move to just kind of throw off the timing that players tend to get into. So maybe not something we're gonna see from Cobra often, but it worked out really well there. Nice screw attack to break out, but there's CTG with a quick aerial to answer before Cobra can get the ground. And whoa. Got spooked. Yeah, a little spooked. Makes it very tough for him to be able to actually come back and recover. Kind of a rock and a hard place, but again, Cobra with the equalizer stock now. He's done a great job of answering back. I need to see Cobra go ahead and really take initiative in this stock. Right, go ahead. You, you got it. Go ahead, stock right here. Oh, doesn't guess the right tech option. Was predicting that Dylan, because he's playing such a positioning-oriented game, would favor teching in the center. But instead, the mix-up giving Dylan positional advantage here. Down air. Oh, oh, he didn't cover. Man, Cobra's recovery, it's just absolutely beautiful. Pixel perfect so far, aside from that last whiff on the previous stock, but now do or die mode, and the positioning not in his favor here. Great down air. Neutral air is gonna give him the positioning right back, and he's gonna have time to charge up the charge shot here. It's tense. Oof. Oh, great dodge. Very nice low profiling underneath the charge shot. And again, this dance beginning. We're going to be seeing the down air coming out from the side of Cobra. Back air! Oh. And that's going to be game number one. So huge plays from Cobra. There are so many times that I really feel like if I was in his position, I would have been on tilt. But that's the difference between someone like me and someone like Cobra. We're talking about someone who is such a seasoned veteran at this game, who has seen these scenarios time and time again and knows exactly what his win condition is when it comes to the long game. Shout out to SKG in the background there, and Lodo. <laughs> and Zero, I can see Zero too. Yeah. It's great to see all these uh, online warriors, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's like whenever you, you have your online friends that you game with, and you're like, hey, you guys want to, I don't know, get burgers or something someday? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> let's have a Smash tournament. Yeah, let's have a Smash tournament. Yeah, you know, I know it's what we do typically, but I'd like to do that, but also just in person, if that sounds good to anybody. <laughs> Game number two kicking off. And neck and neck in terms of percents. I thought for a minute that CTG would be walking away with a slight percent lead, but that's the power of that screw attack. CTG has to be so careful whenever it comes to really stringing together some of these combos just because of that combo break option that Cobra possesses. Oof. Love the bomb placement. Yeah, very nice. And the follow up into the air afterwards, digging it. 
Just that little extra charge. Yeah, a little bit will get you. <laughs> Takes a village to make Samus a real character. <laughs> Good neutral are coming out from CTG. Good forward air. Gonna close the stock out. Bit of an awkward predicament, I think, for Cobra. I feel like if he went for the down air there, if CTG had pulled away, he would have probably been too far to actually stick the recovery. So, definitely a rock and a hard place scenario for Cobra as he tries to fight back. Again, probing with the salami stick. Gonna find the back air. Gonna close things out and make it an even game yet again. Uh, this would normally be a rest con yeah. combo. Well, there it is. Ask and you shall receive. Not something that we're gonna be seeing quite often in this set, but CTG does know how to find these little moments. You know, I feel like those little moments initially started with just his recovery, but as he's progressed as a player, we've seen him kind of strive away from that autopilot combo mode that a lot of Jigglypuff mates go to, and wow, Solid. huge! That was such a phenomenal read, and Cobra's edge callouts, honestly, on CTG have been nothing short of spectacular thus far. Again, using that space to kind of push CTG off of the side. Yeah, he's really just making the most, I think, of, of Samus' hitboxes and just putting so much pressure on CTG. And speaking of which, this is the first time that CTG is playing from behind. So let's see if he can find that calm resolve that helped Cobra actually close out that last game. Again, these forward airs. Oof. Nice up air. And again, we're seeing this battle for this top platform. Feels like that height advantage can be pretty critical whenever it comes to establishing that initial glow. Oh man, what a dance. And close, you saw that Cobra went for the forward air that time. CTG repositions himself above so he can hit with the Nair. The smart adjustments, but are they a little too late? Cobra needs one good hit and Back that's air. gonna be it. So again, a good setup, that down air into the back air. Cobra getting a lot of mileage with these aerials so far, and honestly, just really phenomenal reads. You know, it feels like he, right now, took the first game, assembled quite a bit of data, and it feels like he's just read the book of Dylan. He's read the book on CTG, and now he's really willing to punish Dylan for some of these habits. So now, on CTG, he's in the hot seat down 2-0. What do you think he needs to do to come back from this? I don't know, he needs to get over this mental block he's having. It looks like he's, he seems a little bit lost if you look at his <laughs> face, just... And it's a good thing Cobra can't really see it with the, the hoodie on. I saw a smirk, so so maybe that was a, that was a, a quick glance and a side to, to, to uh, CTG headed towards a character which Cobra describes as a 98-2 matchup <laughs> in Captain Falcon's favor. <laughs> Set point for Cobra here. See if he can bring this one home. Good start so far. Again, we talked about that positioning being so critical to CTG's game plan, and Cobra has blown that wide open. Having supreme stage control here. He's peppered the stage with bombs, and that's made it so tough for CTG to land. Brilliant, brilliant. The reverse hit on the back here on top of that. This is someone who knows his character inside and out. Really two character specialists just duking it out, but it really feels like just the, the sheer amount of, of presence and, and the amount of experience that Cobert has is really giving him the favor so far. I think these, these bombs are what are throwing off Dylan so much. That's that's probably been the difference maker with the bombs. Honestly, I, I think that even with some of these interactions, it goes back to that initial grab that Cobra got, right? Because when I see that F smash, I feel like Dylan was thinking, I can't stay in shield too long, he's gonna go for the grab here. And as a result, he ends up getting punished huge with the F smash. Back here, nice. Cobra, again, up a stock. And CTG, he's really struggled from playing behind. You know, whenever he's playing against other characters, it's a lot easier because you have rest on the table to be that sudden swing in tempo, but that's not a luxury that CTG really has in this matchup all that consistently. So he's gonna need to play this one inch at a time to try and make up the mile gap that Cobra is building. Ooh, and make it two miles. That's another stock in favor of Cobra. And now CTG, this could be the last stock that he has in the winner's side of this tournament. Right, I'm just hoping for him. One stock at a time, like you said. Oh. 
It's not a good start. No. Bad positioning. Oh, charge shot. Out of jumps. No, not yet. That's just, that's what, honestly one of CTG's greatest attributes is just his ability to thread the needle with Puff's recovery. He's just so crafty, and even folks with quite a bit of experience, folks like Super Boom Fan, really laud CTG for his ability to find these recoveries, but he's gonna need to make the most of them, given the fact that he's off stage yet again, and seriously, such an uphill battle. Goes for the up smash, very risky. Not the reverse hit that Cobra was looking for, unfortunately. So, CTG, another shot here, but how is he gonna survive? I mean, Cobra just all Cobra the right the charge shot. <laughs> You know, 60% of the time it works every time, I suppose. <laughs> As CTG ends up getting another stock. But yet again, he can't afford to really even get touched here. We've seen the dominance that Cobra asserts onto the stage. Wow, CTG trying to get aggressive. Oh, I thought that was Cobra's chance, but he didn't want to overcommit. Didn't want to risk getting capitalized on by one of Dylan's quick combos. Maybe that hesitance. Okay. It might be giving CTG wow. a window to get back into this game, Cobra. Here we go, high percentage for Dylan, but all it takes is one combo. And I feel like that Dilly. could be it. Nair and Puff's lightweight will be her demise as Cobra moves on 3-0 against CTG. That was an upset. Is it though? That's true, right. Is it though? So, you know, when I, when I think about these two players, they feel relatively evenly matched. It's true, it's true. So Dylan was higher seated than Cobra. Uh, Dylan is ranked lower on 64 league rankings, but that's a year old. And Dylan has been outperforming Cobra generally, uh, or, you know, for this season, this year. So, I think, standings-wise, it was probably uh, an upset. But, like you said, matchup-wise, I think it was still in Cobra's favor to begin with. So, yeah.